What's up guys, Brendan here from GeeReviews.net Here today with another video, Gee Review actually got some bonuses today We got a Gee, a Rash Guard, and a pair of shorts from Enzo Kimonos Pretty cool stuff from these guys, let me, let me put down my coffee Let's check out some shorts first So, Enzo's a fairly new company um, again, I think they, they did a lot of cool stuff. Their shorts have kind of a basic, almost like shoestring, drawstring on the inside. Uh, the shorts are all uh, this kind of bunchy elastic all around the top. So very different from like a, excuse me, um, very different from like a uh, clinch gear type of short. This would fit somebody, you know, this big all the way to me, probably that big. They did the same... You can see this pattern, you know, repeated throughout. They have a really cool piece of artwork that they use on everything, which is cool, you know, from a branding perspective. It just says Enzo Kimonos right there, and you have kind of the, the temple and the, you know, the rising sun. Um, a lot of people, you'll, you'll see in the review I talk about, I won't talk about it a lot right now. Some people have a problem with the, the Japanese military logo. Some people say it's historical, it's not a big deal. Um, so, you know, I know that they've caught a little bit of flack for that, but, uh, it's still, it, it is still a cool design. But, again, it's such a historically, you know, weighted image. Again, check out our full review up on dereviews.net and you'll see what I'm talking about a little bit more. So, anyways, cool shorts. I do like it. Um, I almost wish there were two different images, but it is, it is a cool image and it does line up, you know, real nicely. Has a nice symmetry to it. The Rash Guard is also very cool. Where they have here the big uh, Enzo Kimonos on the front. They did a little bit different on the back. I like the, the sleeve with the kanji and the, the bamboo and stuff. It fits me very, very well. Um, a little bit thinner of a Rash Guard, but, you know, maybe more lightweight. But I don't think it's going to have any, you know, issues with durability. No snags, no issues, so to speak, so far when wearing it and testing it out. But... It is a very, very nice, basic rash guard. I believe, could be wrong, I'll have to check the gi. I was going to say, I believe that they uh, are made, they have all their stuff made in the same factory in Pakistan, but I'm not sure. It could be China. Let me check. So, they have a really cool gi bag. I haven't seen this done yet. They have the screen printing on, or the, I'm sorry, the completely sublimated front. I like that they use sublimation, not just screen printing or whatever. Very cool. On the front, same pattern. Again, carries on throughout. But in the back is mesh. Oh my gosh, a ghee bag that if I put a sweaty ghee in it, you know, isn't going to turn it into the nastiest smelling thing ever in two minutes. So I appreciate that. I like that the back is open a little bit. You could bring it. I know a lot of my friends use these to carry their kids' toys. Like I know uh, my friend Seymour from Mirkatsu uses his to carry... Uh, his kids toys to the beach and stuff instant you know sand just comes right off them awesome awesome i'm sure that was their plan all along to carry kids toys to the beach in the gee bag whatever um so let's start with the pants we have a nice solid ripstop pant i have an a3 again i'm six foot one uh about 200 210 um let's be honest probably about 215 right now whatever um so these I say um a lot, a lot. It's okay. That's how you know it's real. It's not scripted. So anyways, the Ripstop Pants, six belt loops. I like the contrast colors and the belt loops. They went with a gray and orange. Uh, Live the Warrior Way, Enzo Kimonos. Can't read the bottom because I'm old. Premium Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Kimono, EnzoKimono.com. That's what that label says. Otherwise, everything else in the pants is pretty free. Pretty free of branding, other than this one down here on the bottom. It says their Enzo Kimono label again. And they have a nice Live the Warrior Way uh, on the seam tape here. A little a little bit uh, scratchy, but, you know, nothing too intense. I'm sure it'll be fine, as long as you're not a sissy. So then, the pants, 
Pants don't fit too bad. I actually like, I feel like it's a little bit, I got big legs. So I feel like it's a little bit tapered on my legs. Feels like a pretty good fit so far. We'll have to see if and how they shrink at all. I'm just tying it off. Some people make fun of me how I tie my pants. I tie them off to the side. When you put belt loops in the middle, I tie them off to the side. I like belt loops set there so I can actually tie it in the middle. Another thing that I like about this gi is they have this cool uh, piping off to the side. I know Aesthetic does this. Omega Maniac does an awesome job of this. Uh, this isn't, you know, the one, like Storm just puts a strip of material there. As far as I know, that's not IBJJF legal. I've seen pictures of Andre Galvao with that strip. You can see the threads sticking out because he had to tear it off. But um, I like this little piping. I think it's a cool, it doesn't affect the, it, there's no impact on the gi at all. And um, as far as I know, it's totally competition legal. And it looks really nice, very clean. So the gi has a rash guard interior, again, with the same logo or the same stuff we saw earlier. A little bit crazy stitching here in the armpit. But this is the thing. They went with a rash guard that goes all the way into the sleeve. It literally goes all the way down. Here, let me pull this inside up. You literally have a rash guard incorporated into this gi. They didn't just do the body, they did the whole thing all the way down into the sleeves. The problem with that is that sometimes, you know, things get a little wonky in the stitching and whatnot. But like for instance right here, it's set down a little bit, it's not totally on there, but this, you know, it's triple stitch so it's not going anywhere. I like that they did big reinforcements here. That's nice. That's how reinforcement should be done on the bottom, not just the little triangle. Because this way, if people pull it across, like there's a video of Ben Henderson's gi just tearing because somebody got grabbed it and pulled it across and not up. You know, those little triangles don't do much if somebody pulls it this way, but these will help. Got some seam tape on the bottom. Again, live the warrior way. Personal thing, I don't like the font. It's just me. It looks like a generic stock font. Uh, they did so much cool custom stuff with this gi. I wish they would have chosen a cooler font. We have this kanji right here on the back, which I think is really nice. Enzo kimonos on one sleeve. Is it on both? Yes. On both biceps here. I call it the bicep. I guess it's just one of those weird things. Um, Because it's technically on the side of your arm, so bicep, tricep area. Let's try on the A3. Interesting. It's a different fit. I can tell right away. A little bit, um, not necessarily tighter in the back, but for instance, some A3s go all the way across. This is actually, they did a good job. A lot of A3s, you get a lot of like bulk material, and this fits actually pretty well. Definitely feels like a heavier D with the full rash guard inside. But if you train, listen, if you train in a cold area, this is awesome because you don't have to have a separate rash guard and a separate gi, you can just wear this. Uh, this might be really hot in the summer months, so if you train in a really hot area, it might not be your best option. But, stylistically, they tried to do a lot with this. You know, for a first gi, you try to do a lot, that means a lot can go wrong. And I think, you know, there's a couple, like some of the stitching's a little different, and, you know, the corner of the lapel is sticking out. These things are so minor. When you try and do a production of something this you know, this big. They also have the pearl weave reinforced knees, which I can see right now through there. That's cool. I like when they use the gi material reinforcement versus just having, you know, a regular pant reinforcement. That's going to last a long time. Even if this outside ripstop layer rips, pants are still going to be fine because you have a full, you know, gi material underneath it, which I think is great. I think it's overall a pretty solid offering from Enzo. Uh, for branding purposes, they did a good job. If you buy the shorts, the rash guard, and the gi, it might be a little repetitive, but if you dig this design, which it is a really cool design on here, um, then I would definitely suggest picking up all three. But like I said, I think, you know, this seam tape is a little scratchy. The factory didn't fold it under properly. A lot of times they'll just make the seam tape and that leaves a rough edge. Some places will actually fold both edges under and then stitch it down, which I think is the correct way to, to do it. Um, but again, that's kind of hard to get everything right on the first key, but overall not too bad. Um,
definitely impressed. Definitely check out our full review where I explain kind of the, the whole qualm with the design on the inside and everything. And uh, you can check it out on keyreviews.net. Also, if you have any questions about, you know, buying, maintaining, uh, researching geese, best geese for women or lightweight geese, we have tons of awesome articles up on gearreviews.net. Or you can always ask me on Facebook, facebook.com slash gearreviews. See you there. What you know about that? It's gonna get, it's gonna get, it's gonna get loud.